Hi, my name is Kelvin Johnson. Um, in this video, I'll, I'll be discussing about the Windows 10 version 1903, which is actually the May called the May update um, according to Microsoft. The marketing name is called the May 2009-19 update. So right now, this update is not actually available for everyone, but if you are a member of the um, Insider Preview, um, you probably have received this update. So as you can see in this list from um, the website of Wikipedia, now Windows 10 version history, you will see that um, the Windows 10 has actually gone come a long way. So we first of all we have the version 1507, which was released in July 29, um, 2015, and since then Microsoft has been periodically um, releasing a um, new version of Windows 10 because uh, Microsoft decided not to actually um, like before you know you have the windows 7 you have the windows 8 and then uh, windows vista and things and like that so but now right now um microsoft decided that they're just going to be actually um, be, um updating the version of windows instead of bringing out new um totally new version of windows you know for like for example windows 11 or windows 12. so right now we are in a um, version 1903 which is marketing name is called the may 20 2019 update and uh, the release date is not um, there is no date of which is going to be released yet and um, it's going to be uh, 18 months after release is going to be valid for like 18 months to think the support uh, support until like 30 months uh, for enterprise and education is going to be like for 30 months so and for enterprise LTSA well this it has to be still has to be decided well, right now, so if you are um, you are still using the version 1809, so you don't have any problem. But if you are using the, like version 1507 or even 1607, um, I think I will um, actually advise um, you update your Windows version as quick as possible. Because if you don't, you may stop receiving um, like a cumulative and critical updates from um, from Microsoft. So here, if I go to like scroll down to this of, of this page, just scroll down, you see you have the um, version 1903, which according to Microsoft is also also known as version 1903, and the code name is 19H1. So if I decide, if I go to like the Windows um, 10 release information, here you see all the version of Windows which has which has been released and uh, we have the uh, semi-annual channel and we have the semi-annual channel targeted but um, according to Microsoft uh, with version 1903 there will not be semi-annual channel targeted anymore so it's going to stop at version 1809 so the semi-annual cha uh, ch channel target is actually for IT engineers if for example I'm, I'm an IT administrator so for me I prefer to have this version first to see if everything is okay if everything is working very well if there are no uh, we don't have there is no there's no error people are not receiving i'm not receiving any blast screen so if everything if i after conclusion that everything is okay then we can proceed and start distributing the semi-annual channel to other users but right now microsoft is going to stop that so you will not um from 1903 there will not be any um semi-annual channel targeted anymore and also we have the window inside uh, the 10 inside inside a preview so here you have um, the summary of what is um, what uh, what what kind of updates did Microsoft actually uh, included in the new uh, version so if you if you are, um, you can go to this to the website of Microsoft and here is uh, the, the, the the link to the site so you can just scroll down and just read the information about um, what uh, kind of updates of what known issue this uh, update will be solving and here Microsoft actually um, included some information on how to get this update so you, here you see to receive the update you must you must be a Windows Insider slow fast or release preview ring well uh, for my company right now we use the uh, Microsoft Intune or the mobile device management to actually update our uh, Windows uh, 10 version 
So as an IT administrator, I actually um, I create um, an update. I can create an update just for the I am um, the IT guys, and also have a kind of a spare computer which I use to actually um, release the update and see if everything goes well. To actually do some testing, do some installation to make sure that uh, I don't receive any um, error. So and also I also have um, this link here. You can see. If, for example, I'm just giving you this, um, if, for example, you need to um, update your computer or a cumulative uh, or security uh, update has been released by Microsoft, here you can see which update was uh, was released and the date of the update. Like, for example, my, when I started my computer at work this morning, I saw that it takes a very long time to uh, to start because it was trying to update um, this um KB4499167 that was, what was released on May 14th. So I decided to check on my control control panel and check which update was uh, actually installed. So I saw it was this update that uh, was installed. And some users started calling me and saying that I my com my computer is taking a long time to actually uh, start, like 10 15 minutes. So I just told them to hold on to shut down the computer because it's very actually important important that their computer gets uh, updated periodically. Well, this is not um, the um, va uh, version uh, kind of the version update. It's just a cumulative or uh, um, update from Microsoft that's been installed on the computer. So, well, um, I have a computer which uh, is installed with the um, Insider Preview. Let me just switch to that computer. I'm going to enter to that computer um, using Team Viewer. So, if I um, let me just first of all to show you that I'm using. Let me just show you the version of the computer. Here you can see I'm using version 1903. The OS build is 18898. So this update was actually um, installed, I think, um, this morning when I came to work because I released the update, I think, some about last week. And um, I, when I came to work this morning, so I saw that uh, I need to restart this computer for the update to be installed which it did and here you can see it says windows 10 preview insider 10 pro insider preview and if i go to check on the updates let me just tap update windows update settings here you can see um the last check was today and if i go to view update history and here i have like the windows 10 insider preview that was installed today successfully installed which is um, today you can see on the 20th of 5th of may 2019 and actually um, what i did is um, this update was installed using the uh, microsoft intune azure or um, the like the mobile device uh, management so there i configure um, a, an update uh, policy which i actually released to my computers for like for this um, inside the insider so that I will be the first one to, to receive this um, update and before I, I can verify and check that everything is working very well before we can decide to actually roll up the update so if I go to let me view configured update policy so here you see um, these are the policies I actually configured for this uh, for just for a test and here it says your organization has set some policies to manage updates so i'm not using i'm not using like the um, active directory or any um, gpo to actually deploy this update i'm just using the microsoft intune azure you know in azure you can actually configure um, policies different kind of policies which will actually be released to the computer and the computer will actually receive the update here you can see it says set when active hours and type mobile device management. Here you can see so all this, these are all the settings uh, that was configured in uh, the mobile device uh, management from Intune. And here you can actually see enable skipping battery check for EDU devices, source administrator. So the administrator has been configured this policy. So well, for this computer now, right now the um, the user I used to log onto this computer does not have administrator rights, so he or she cannot change this uh, policy. And even if you decide to log onto this computer with an administrator, you change it automatically when you restart the computer. The policy is still going to be pushed to this computer for it 
to be updated. But there was one thing I observed actually when I updated this computer. If I go to Sniper for the sniping tool, I think in the one machine 1809, you also have this the snipe, the snip and sketch. So this is actually new. If you are using like version 1803, you will not have the snip and sketch. But for this version, yeah, this Windows 10 version, here you have it this snip and sketch so if i go to the snipe let me just click the sniping tool here you see this is the sniping tool which was actually um installed in the previous version well the sniping tool is moving so i think uh, microsoft is going to uh, replace it with the snip and sketch which i think i tested it today at my work and i will actually prefer this because you have more options and things like for example let me just try this and i can decide to just select this because i use the sniping tool a lot at my work because um, i create a lot of manuals a lot of documentation for use for end users and also for some um, uh, we work with an external company who do uh, they are responsible for our first line they are kind of the it first line so i um Create a lot of documentation for them, so I use the sniping tools a lot to take some to take screenshots. So here you have the option to actually just draw some things, and so you can actually play with it. I can decide to copy this or just save it. So I think I'll prefer this uh, snip and sketch to the sniping tool that was previously installed by the other version of Windows. So right now, if you think um, you uh, are a member, if you're even if you're not using the um, um, like a group policy um, in the, from Active Directory to the deploy updates or the uh, mobile device management, you can as well. If you're just using a, a just Windows 10, you can as well configure your Windows 10 um, update settings to actually re receive the the insider, so that um, you can as well. Um, get the pro inside preview before it is being released to every other persons well what i uh, is what i actually do at my work is this i try to when i receive when i um install a new version of windows like this i try to see if all my software are working very well like on, on this computer i have not i didn't install um, a lot of software so but um let's see let me just check. I did not install a lot of. So I did. I did install a lot of software. But what I actually do is I try to check and make sure that uh, my software is still working. That I didn't receive any error message because most of the software that are being used on in my company. So I, if they are, if they are licensed software, I just try to install like the trial version also on the on the computer and then try to see if everything is working very well well all the same if you um think this video has been of great help to you please don't forget to subscribe to my um, channel and also try and just give me a thumb for taking my time to create um, this um, video and if you have any question um, related to it and uh, please don't forget to send me an email or just leave a comment um, below and i will respond to you as quick as possible and also if you have any question concerning concerning mobile device management microsoft intune azure office uh, 365 admins uh, center please you can also also send me an email and i will respond um, to your email as quick as possible just send an email to um, kjocomputers at gmail.com that is kjocomputers k-e-j-o-c-o-m-p-u-t-e-r-s at gmail.com and i'll reply to your mail as quick as possible and so please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel once more and thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video and see you next time bye